you know that you want to, or you need to put yourself out there for your business. You need to deal with this social media thing, whether it's a video, a podcast, pictures for Instagram. Oh my God, let me show everybody my life. Like the whole thing of putting ourselves out there on camera for the world to see, hearing our voice, hearing what we have to say, and you're feeling really reluctant to do that. Maybe you're feeling fearful, maybe you're feeling resistant and you're not exactly sure why. Well, I have something to help you today. We're going to tap on that fear of being seen, fear of putting yourself out there. My name is Stephanie Wood and I'm an EFT tapping trainer and practitioner and creator of Ultra EFT, which stands for Understanding Life Through Realization and Awareness. I've been tapping for more than 20 years and I have lots of tools to help you feel better now. Let's get started. So what I'd love for you to do is think about that feeling of putting yourself out there. You're like, I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. Maybe it's reluctance. Maybe it's actual fear. Maybe you have reasons for that. There might be stuff from the past holding you back. Maybe you got up in front of an audience when you were in third grade and they shot you down. It didn't go well. Maybe you were in the school play and just people didn't clap. Whatever it was, there are reasons for us having all this reluctance. Maybe you were criticized a lot as a kid. Who knows? In any case, we can still tap on that feeling that's holding you back now. So think about putting yourself out there. Really close your eyes, tune in and think about it. Notice what happens in your body right now. If you can, give it a rating on a scale from zero to 10. A zero is there's not an issue with it. 10 is there's no way in hell that I'm putting myself out there. And notice where it is in your body if you feel it in your body. So all you need to do is tap along with me and repeat the words out loud. Feel free to change the words so that they pertain to your situation. And remember to take full responsibility for your feelings as you're doing the tapping. So let's get started tapping on the side of your hand, even though I have hesitation about putting myself out there. And it might be a stronger word than hesitation. We'll explore all the words. <laughs> that is how I feel. And I really acknowledge it. Even though I feel reluctant, resistant, to putting myself out there on social media for everybody to see me and hear me, <laughs> criticize me, <laughs> judge me. Let me. I'm guessing some of the intensity might be warming up now, some of these words. I really acknowledge that that's how I feel. Even though I have some feelings about putting myself out there. I'm open to seeing something new about that right now. Tapping on the top of your head. I have feelings about this. Inside of the eyebrow. I don't know about putting myself out there. Side of the eye. It didn't go well in the past. I'm taking a guess at that under the eye. I don't want that to happen again. Under the nose. I don't know about putting myself out there. Chin. What if it doesn't go well? Collarbone. Maybe I'm afraid I'll be criticized. Under the arm. Maybe I'm afraid I'll be judged. And the rest, maybe I'm afraid I'll be made fun of. Top of the head, all these fears and concerns about putting myself out there. Inside of the eyebrow. I don't know if I can put myself out there side of the eye. I don't know if I want to put myself out there. Under the eye. All the ways I feel vulnerable about this. 
under the nose. I'm afraid to put myself out there. Chin. I dread putting myself out there. Collarbone. I don't think I want to put myself out there. Under the arm. But if I'm tapping along with this, I probably know that I am going to put myself out there. And the wrist. So maybe I can make some peace with it. And just take a breath, shake that out. I like to flick my fingers a little. Or you can take a breath and rest your hands on your lap, whatever's comfortable for you. Now in that round, we may have lit up something. It's possible, that's okay. I want you to notice where you're feeling that nugget of feeling in your body when you think about putting yourself out there. And you may or may not know where that feeling comes from, but the reality is it comes from thought. It comes from an old thought, memory, whatever it is, that's what you're feeling, even if you're not aware of where it's coming from. So let's just tap on the top of your head all these reluctant thoughts. inside of the eyebrow. They might judge me. Side of the eye. Maybe I judge others that I see putting themselves out there. Everybody does it. We can't not. <laughs> Under the eye. But what would happen if I didn't care? Under the nose. What's it to me? Chin. What if I could feel safe, even if I'm criticized? Collarbone. Who would I be if I could feel safe and secure, even if they judge me? And this may be lighting stuff up. I want you to just notice it all. Under the arm. What if I could put myself out there with ease? And the wrist. What if I enjoyed putting myself out there? Top of the head. Some people might even like me. Inside of the eyebrow. But they don't really know me. Side of the eye when I'm putting myself out on a video or Instagram story or podcast. Under the eye. So what if I don't care if they like me or don't like me? Under the nose. And if I'm doing this for my business, chin, what if the right people will simply resonate with me? Collarbone and what I have to offer, whatever that is. Under the arm, I don't have to be their best friend. <laughs> and the wrist, but what if I could still work with those people or they could work with me? top of the head and all those people who might judge me inside of the eyebrow. What if they simply aren't my people? Side of the eye. And what if I really, really let go of caring about that under the eye? What if I didn't care if they judge me? Under the nose, who would I be if I didn't care that they judge me? Chin. They're just projecting their own stuff on me anyway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Collarbone, just like I'm projecting my own stuff on people when I'm judging them. Under the arm. So what if I could care less and less about their thoughts and criticisms? 
and the wrist. What if I let more and more of this go? Okay, take a breath, shake that off. <sighs> okay. Now again, think about putting yourself out there. Really close your eyes if you can, if that feels good. And think about that feeling of putting yourself out there. And notice what's there. Does it feel neutral? Does it feel scary? Does it feel like you've got a loving audience? I want you to imagine right now, we're going to look at a awful audience and a loving audience. Okay. So you can keep your eyes closed if you'd like, or you can tap along. I'll just name the points. So just tap along. I want you to imagine that you've put yourself out there on video podcast, wherever you've, you've got yourself out there on stage, even if you're a speaker and Imagine that your audience is just not liking you. They just do not jive with you. And I want you to notice that feeling of like they're heckling you or they're leaving nasty comments. <laughs> just notice that bleh feeling. <laughs> and just notice that this bleh feeling inside of the eyebrow. This fearful feeling, if there's fear there, whatever the feeling is side of the eye, just name the feeling that's there. If there's a, or name the sound of it under the eye. I don't like this feeling under the nose. It feels personal. Chin. They're judging or hating or criticizing me. Collarbone. But what if they really don't know me? Under the arm. And what if it doesn't matter if they don't like me? And the rest. What if all their stuff, their negative stuff, just came at me and went through me like I'm transparent? Top of the head. They can't really know me. So what's it to me if they think they don't like what they see? inside of the eyebrow. What if I really don't care? Side of the eye. Who is it that they don't like anyway? Under the eye. And now I want you to put that aside and now bring up an audience that just loves you. They seem to hang on your every word. Under the nose. They love me. <laughs> Chin, my adoring audience. <laughs> Collarbone. And just notice that feeling when you think about that. Collarbone. And just feel that. And the wrist. And notice that what you're engaging with right now is you're engaging with the feeling about that thought top of the head. What if I don't care if they love me either? Inside of the eyebrow. Again, they don't know me. Side of the eye. They're projecting their stuff on me, positive or negative. Under the eye. But what if I could reach under that? Under the nose. And know that I am going to connect with the people I need to connect with. Chin. And that's it. Collarbone. It may be that I connect with a dozen people under the arm. It may be that I connect with a million people. And the rest. What if it could be appropriate for my business? And just take a breath, shake that off and notice what's there. And now I want you to imagine that you're putting yourself out there and just see if you can still bring up that hesitation. See what's there. Give it a rating on a scale from zero to 10 again. Is it the same as when you started? 
So this is just a short tapping video. If this isn't at a zero, if you still feel like you're having some of this, you can go back and listen to this again. And I would love to hear from you in the comments how this was for you and did it bring anything up? Did you see anything new about it? Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have more tap alongs, so be sure to subscribe to my channel.